Hello everyone, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Here we are with part number 22 as we head on into Battle Legion, our good friend. Yes. Okay, so Legion here is a bit of a terrible boss if you don't know what you're doing, because he will summon an army of enemies upon you, and it's, uh, it's one of those bosses people stumble across and don't really know what to do. Just like his counterpart, who's like the hardest guy in the game, um... And, uh, yeah, so people people don't know what to do in that case. But we we know better, and that's just to spam the shield rod. That is mostly what we're going to be doing to win this fight, as we have for the past number of fights. So here's Legion here, and he's a giant brain guy. Um, and we're just going to immediately summon this sword on him. And, I mean, this uh, iron shield on him. So he's a little bit of an interesting guy, but, you know, come on. Nobody beats the iron shield. So, Legion's made up of a bunch of people or something like that, um, and, yeah, so he's just the Legion, you know, it's kind of where he gets the name, obviously. But, you know, now he's dead, so, uh, we're gonna watch him blow up and fire an explosion, but, as I said, um, this is, the shield rod is pretty overpowered, and the combination with the, uh, iron shield is kind of my favorite, I think it just works for, like, everything super well. Oh yeah, look at Alucard dance in front of that fire. Dance, 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 dance. Oh yeah. Okay, so our life is up and everything. That is good to see. And yeah, we beat Legion. So, you know, well done us. I think we get some kind of armor for it or some... Maybe it's just a lame sword or something, I don't remember. Um, yeah, so... 100 bucks, always useful. Pretty nice farming area too, isn't it? Oh wait, it's just the plants make it bad. Okay, I got you. Otherwise, this I was gonna farm like a few grand here. Okay, so we got ourselves a sword, um, but I don't really care for that. So we don't. Uh, Legion's mostly just fought for the all bosses, you know, order of things. Okay, now it's time to head back to the library. Um, so we'll pull up one of our six library cards and take off. Yes, we beat Legion, so we did all we needed to do. And the life up's mostly why you do it anyway. So now that we actually are back in the library, it's time to uh, grab something else of use. Um, that's going to be... Uh, let's see. No, that's not what I wanted. Uh, where are my jeweled knuckles at? They go to the, like the very bottom or something, right? There they are. Okay. Yep, so now that we're back at the library, it's about time we grab something um, with, the, with the power of our rocket boots here. The gravity boots, whatever, you know? If only, you know, Metroid's gravity boots were like that. I suppose the space jump basically looks like that. Okay. So we'll kill some books. Get the books here and all. Um, yeah. Pretty easy stuff. And we're almost done with this, uh, with this, you know, uh, game. Uh, <laughs> not with the entire game, but with the, uh, with the normal castle, we are almost, like, done with everything here. Which is impressive, honestly. So, um... Here's my plan in the inverted castle. I'm going to immediately make a beeline for um, the Alucard shield. And we're going to just get, run over and get the shield, okay? Once we get the shield there, we're going to uh, go straight for uh, getting the uh, Chrysogram, which is the best sword in the game. Once we have those two, we're going to make a beeline for the hardest boss in the game. And we're going to beat him mostly with the shield, I think. Uh, we'll use the sword a little bit, and once he's down, we're going to go and um, use Gas Cloud in a number of interesting areas, especially to farm uh, some stuff off the uh, final guards, because they uh, they needed to. They, they've killed me so many times that it's about time I get some revenge. And also, they level you up like nothing else. Like each time you kill one of them, you get a level, basically. You know, for the longest time at least. Anyway, here's what we're gonna do. So if you do this 50 times, then um, it's uh, something special happens, but we only need to do it once to get the, the uh, life up from it. So you stand down here and you use your gravity boots if you can get them to work, you know? You know, up. You know, up. Come on. Like that. But we need to stand a little more in center, apparently. Come on. So I guess that's the crouch, right? Is that why we have to press down so he's like crouching there? Anyway, you jump up and you get a life up there. So that'll be useful, you know. Going into different areas and stuff. 
Always useful to have a little extra life. I also like to have about 300 health um, coming out of the um, first castle into the second one. And I find that that just works well. Okay, let's fly on across the screen here. How are we doing on our level up? Are we close? Nah, 1500. So it'll be a little while before we level up anyway, but that's okay. Keep killing some enemies. We'll be there before we know it. Ow! Man, when did these guys ever hit me? Shush. Ridiculous. Nerve with these dudes. But in the inverted castle, you level up pretty fast because you're fighting ridiculous enemies all the time. Okay, so here's what our plan's gonna be here. Forget the clock tower, like, entirely. We have to go over and get the, um... Okay, now that we have almost all the health in the game, now that we have the spike breaker, we just need to go over to get, um, the ring. And then we're gonna have to go get the holy glasses, and then we're gonna go battle Richter. Okay, and that sounds pretty doable the next few parts here, um, or the next part even. Maybe even this part. I might just do a 20 minute segment here. I'm not sure. So uh, we'll go up here and we need to use the, uh, you know, room for teleportation. So we'll head on over to the, um, what we'll do is we'll head on over to um, either Olog's uh, quarters there or we'll head to, um, hmm. let's see where we ended up first. This area also works for going to get it. It's just a little further, I want to say. Uh, I think it's actually faster to do it this other way. So we're going to try that. It seems a little more interesting. So if we go here instead, um, I think it's a little bit faster. But I could be wrong on that. At least we're using one of the secret passages. Secret passage. Oh, huh. there we go. Okay. The bat. So powerful, so flying. Oh, yeah. The bat. Shoot fire. Oh yeah, the bat shoot fire. <laughs> Let's not waste too much of our mana though, because we need it. We need it to refill. I always loved how it regenerates in this game. So many games don't have it regenerate enough. Come on. Come on, bat. Work with me. <laughs> That's the thing about spells. Sometimes you've done them a million times, and yet they're somehow still difficult. See how spikes are now breaking though? Because we have the spike breaker. Isn't that cool? Man, I gotta use that in the inverted castle when I run into the spikes. I always forget to. Okay, let's grab a save here real fast. Um, we haven't saved since we got to the library and all. Let's, uh, let's do that here. Next time, we'll get the silver ring. How's that sound, everybody? Sound good? Okay, then. I will see you guys next time with the next part here. So, stay tuned, and I will see you then.